Behind me, you'll notice I have a cover over my Polaris Razor Pro XP. I didn't exactly buy that for security or for trying to keep it dry. Although it will work for that and it will be used for that, I purchased it for safety. We do a lot of destination rides, meaning we drop ourselves off at a location, ride to different areas and stay at different hotels. And we've had some things come up where this cover would have really helped us. Let me explain to you more. Stay tuned. I've been doing a lot of shopping on Amazon, trying not to break the bank, but making sure that when we ride, we're safe. This is a Polaris Razor Pro XP cover from Kemimoto. And it is a waterproof cover, and that is key for what we're using it for, technically. So last time we did a trip in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, dropped herself off at Sault Ste. Marie, rode to Newberry, up to Grand Marais, around there and back. It took us uh, Friday through Sunday. So we spent the night, two nights out, basically at hotels. Would it have been nice to have this cover at the hotels? Yes, because it would cover up our open containers that we have in the back. The Polaris lock and ride containers that we keep our storage stuff in are not lockable. So yes, this would have protected probably about $500 worth of gear and also kept the seats from getting wet, which the hotels are not real fond of you taking out their nice white towels and wiping down your seats, but it happens. What really made this stick out is we ended up having one of our newer guys that we'll nickname as Puddles driving in the lead. He is a Honda Talon and uh, he came across a mud puddle that was I guess deeper than he expected so he started to drive through it. As he got through the mud puddle it started to come up over the seat. He got scared, looked back, didn't see us following which no one follows through that because we want to see does the first person make it we want to be able to pull someone out. He stopped, got stuck. At that point hilarity ensued as he ended up allowing his machine to soak him completely under the water. Now that was funny at the time. He was froze at that point. He had no dry clothes with him, no nothing. So this cover and the reason why we have it not only to cover the machine is also going to double as a safety blanket to that point. It's fairly windproof, it is waterproof. He could have wrapped up in this cover and stayed a little bit warm. We had to drive to Grand Marais, he dropped $200 on clothing. It's funny now, but it really wasn't in that situation. And that's what led us down this road to why not just carry one of these with us, albeit it's not a thermal safety blanket. You could buy that too. But when you're riding down a trail, you need something big. So as this doubles as a cover for your machine, it's also gonna double as something to keep you warm if you get wet. Something that might end up is, as a tent if you are stuck out in the woods. Something that does have safety uh, lines on it that you could use as a way of getting someone else's attention. There's a ton of different uses that you could have for this besides a cover for safety or in a survival situation if you end up in something like that. So let me just show you what it does as a cover. You can use your imagination as how you would use it in a survival situation. I'll link to this below, but it's basically listed as a Polaris Razor Pro XP cover. So it does fit fairly snug all the way around. There was no labeling of front or back. So it is pretty easy just to throw over your machine. And the nice part about it is it does not have a really super tight fit. So if you did have a bumper up front that stuck out or a winch, or if you did have lights up top, they wouldn't really affect the fitment too much. There is quite a bit of room here. I believe that's going to be so you could put this on the front or back. So it is a fitted cover in the front to back length and in its uh, ability to really use an elastic stretch to come around the tires and stay. But in a lot of ways, it's a fairly generally, generally, it doesn't fit super tight. It's not gonna be like fitting like a glove. That's gonna be good and bad. Obviously, if the wind blows it around and your machine's super dirty, it's gonna scratch it up, but these things are meant for dirt. They're gonna get scratched. So it is what it is. If you're keeping this outside under, you know, just in the normal world and you're actually using it as a cover, it does have a strap down here that will keep it on so it can't blow off your machine. 
You can tighten that up as much as you'd like. It's going to cover up everything that's here in basically keep it out of the rain. And that's a good goal for a cover, but realistically, we wanna throw some water on it and see what happens if this thing does get doused. I was hoping this weather you see behind us would roll in a little bit and we'd actually get to test this out in a thunderstorm, see what the wind does to it and everything else. But for safety, the biggest thing that we wanna do is have it repel water. Even if it's just in the short term and we have to coat it with something later, There is no doubt here, there is no water on the inside other than what's splashing off the top and getting down there. I like this as a waterproof cover, a barrier, something we can use if we're in the city, if we need be to cover things up for security, something that'll keep the rain off if we're gonna be there for a long period of time so we're not riding in a soaked seat. Safety wise, it's gonna be waterproof. It's gonna be fairly windproof. You're gonna be able to wrap someone up in that multiple times, keep them warm. Could be used as a tent if need be. Lots of things that it could be used in a safety situation. So I know a cover might not be something that everyone is out there looking for, but it's something that I think you should carry with you. It does have a bag that you can put it in and it does come up off the machine and fold up quite nicely. Now, obviously, since it's a little wet here, we're going to let this guy dry out again before we put it back in its bag. We don't need mold and anything else in there, but quite a nice deal, fairly cheap. Check it out. Give us a like in this video, subscribe to the channel. We always appreciate your time, guys. Come back and see us again. Have a great day.